the big confirmation that came at us about a week ago from IGN. And they dropped a big exclusive. And even they were like, hey, look, we reported on this because insiders and scoopers were talking about it. But they're like, we can 100%, 100% certainty, no and if or buts about it, confirm to you. Taylor Swift does not make a single appearance as anybody in Deadpool and Wolverine. And um, this... Well, now she's going to. I, I was going to say... It's going to be a last-minute edition. She's going to be there. Like, hey. Yeah. Um... <laughs> what, as, as an end credits cameo? <laughs> no, like, she's going to be like a major role in the movie. You watch. How else was the film going to make a billion dollars? Well, if, no, it'd make two billion if she was like a major role in it. <laughs> <laughs> well... She had a major the... role in other films, and uh, they, they didn't do so well. Again, oh, wrong. The Swifties are fine. Uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> they're attacking Ricardo. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're hot-wiring his car. <laughs> it's, um, like, again, uh, I don't know how, obviously, IGN got this info. They don't reveal their sources, which what you should journalistically do. But um, to me, it's been interesting to see the back and forth, because... There has been a little pushback against it. People being like, "No, you're wrong," and you get that not... with every like yeah massive scoop people get too attached to. Uh huh. No, you're true. wrong. This this toast person's right. Trust the bread. I'm like no, no. Yeah, I again, we preface everything that's ever confirmed with a question mark, and we talk about it in that way, unless it is a legit trade that mentions it. And if a legit yeah, trade yeah. says, "Hey," She's not in it, or she is in it. Go with that because, you know, like your deadline. Nine times out of ten, they're right. <laughs> exactly. Like I remember, I think it was Hollywood Reporter that were like, "Hey, Robert Pattinson is in the running for Batman, and also Nicholas Holt is as well. But if he doesn't mm-hmm. win it, he might play something else in DC." People dragged him through the mud for like half a year. If they were a hundred percent correct on both of those, you know, yep, so like yep. it's. There's a way that these people are so in the know and know people connected to some of these things at a deep level that, you know, they get this info. So I do. Yeah, it's all handed to them straight from the studios. I would assume so. Yep. Mm. That's mm. that's the next thing I want to bring up. I think this was Marvel Studios leaking. And by leaking, I mean they had one of their people contact IGN, who's the biggest news outlet out there for nerd stuff, and go, hey, Put this out there because um, false expectations might drive people to hate this, especially if a Swifty shows up with her crew and there's no Taylor Swift. You mean all 12 billion of them? <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Like, um, it could be disastrous. So, uh, I. Well, yeah. well, that we have to, like, <laughs> studios have to tiptoe around uh, a white woman's fan base. Uh. Yeah. How that's wild. What if her cameo is done like that new Francis Ford Coppola film where halfway into it, somebody has to talk on stage and he talks to Francis Ford Coppola in the screen? What if they fly Taylor Swift in her private jet with all those emissions to every single screening? Please do it. That that would be genius. Yeah. Don't yeah. legit fly to every screening because she takes enough flights. No. <laughs> I was going to say, and people, if I, I'm not making the thing up about Francis Ford Coppola, he actually, in his like latest film, there's a section where somebody has to walk out on stage and talk to him in the film. That's how the film is designed. So if you don't have that experience, uh, you, you don't understand the film. Mm. <laughs> the, yeah. Mm. Francis took a little bit too much of the wacky tobacco before he made that movie. But hey. God, what year is it? I know, I Lucky know, I'm taking it back. Yeah. That, that's it. Uh, well, I mean, Eminem released a new song, so clearly we've gone back 20 years. It's true, yeah. <laughs> you know, a part of me thinks that that song... Actually, was no, it wasn't Eminem who released it. It was Slim Shady, get it right. Oh, okay, well. Mm-hmm. How much you want to bet that song somehow got to play in Venom 3, and that's why they released a trailer so close to it? Oh, 100%, yeah. <laughs> I love it. It... it it's going to be great. Well, they'll do a surprise Venom 4, and that'll be Houdini. Yeah. Oh, great. Great. I, I mean, Sony did buy the Alamo Draft House. Venom That's 4 true, and 5. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, yeah that, was, that was actually <laughs> wild when that, when that dropped us out. What if Taylor Swift buys a whole 
theatrical change. She could. She could, actually. Oh. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say anything. The, the Swifties could, you know, find us. Yeah, but the Swifties <laughs> need to learn that eat the rich applies to everyone. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. You would think, but no. So, <laughs> any disappointment with her not being in it? I don't really care. <laughs> no. Yeah, I didn't really <laughs> care either way. The less Taylor Swift there is in the world, I know Jared's going to hate me for this. The less Taylor Swift we have, the better. Uh, that, 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 I thought that was I thought his favorite artist was Will Smith. <laughs> yeah, but he's a Swifty as well. Uh, oh, okay. You know, no one's perfect, bless him, but he's a Swifty. Jared we about to bust out here singing the Wild Wild West music. <laughs> you, you, like, you know, you, you, you're joking about that. Song that is he good. loves that song. He loves that song. It's I a know. good song. Oh, great. We need to have. But he also likes the movie, though. Uh, Ooh, yeah. There's no hate to Wild Wild Western movie, like that shit slapped as a kid. But oh man, just wow. not the racist parts. <laughs> yeah, there is that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there is that. There is that. Well, that'll be it for the Swifty section of the podcast. 